Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 36. So today we're going to wrap up our training on the reports applet by discussing the tracking abilities you have for the text messages and emails that you're sending out from within command through the reports applet. So let's dive into that applet. We know the reports icon is our little bar graph line chart here. We'll open up reports and we're going to start with the email tab. So fourth tab over within the reports applet is our email tab. Now you can see a lot of information inside of this tab. If you'll remember when we talked about campaigns, the command mail program offers all of our KW agents 5,000 free emails per month. That includes emails that are being sent out from smart plans and from campaigns. So you can see at the top of the screen, you're gonna have a little color coded legend there. And this bar will start to fill up as you begin to send out emails from your command mail account. And it's gonna show you roughly how many you've sent from campaigns and how many you've sent from smart plans. You can also toggle down and see specifically just those for campaigns, just those for smart plans. In addition, you can go back and check any one of the months of the year to see how many emails that you sent out on each one of those months. Um, in addition, if you have a need for more than 5,000 emails, you can upgrade your command mail account and get additional emails should you choose to purchase those through the marketplace. This is the button you would use to do that. In addition, you can see details of the emails. Right now we haven't sent any, but you would have a list here of the emails that have been sent out by command email and it would show you which of those were delivered and undelivered. In addition, at the very bottom here, you're gonna see some speedometers that will begin to fill out. So what percent of the emails that you sent were delivered? What percent might be undelivered? Which percent would be opened? If you had a click involved in those emails, whether it was a campaign or a smart plan, how many of your contacts actually clicked on anything? how many of them replied and how many of them unsubscribed as well. And underneath each one of these speedometers, you're gonna see a view details button, where if you open that view details button, you'll actually get a list and it'll tell you who the contact was and either which campaign or which smart plan was triggering that actual report. So if it was delivered, it might say Homer Simpson, uh, monthly neighborhood nurture, something along those lines we would see. Uh, the emails in this case being delivered to our fictional characters. Finally, at the bottom here, you're going to have rep reputation metrics. So this is definitely something that you want to keep track of, especially if you're sending out a large volume of emails. Um, we definitely don't want to be marked as spam by the consumers to which we are sending emails. And so at the very bottom here, you can see your reputation over the last 30 days. The goal is not to surpass or really get anywhere close to one-tenth of 1% 1 of your database marking you as spam. So gotta be really careful about that. Always make sure that your subject line matches the body, that the consumer is expecting that email or at least will find value in that email such as they would not mark you as spam. So that's the email tab. We can move over to the text and calls tab. Right now this is really just tracking your Twilio text credit usage and kind of the breakdown of the messages sent and the credits for each. So this is gonna show you your Twilio credit usage. And remember that <clears throat> for each media-based message, so if you're sending out photos or attachments inside of Twilio, um, that's an MMS message, that's gonna cost you three credits. In addition, if you're sending out an SMS, which is strictly text messaging, then it's one credit for any of the plus one country code numbers, and that's for 160 characters. So do remember, you can send up to 480 characters. If you sent that to a plus one country code, then essentially that would be three credits because it's one credit for every 160. If you're sending that to a contact that is not in a plus one country code, then it's two credits for every 160 characters. So uh, remember that this is both for messages sent and received. And this little bar will kind of start to track based upon how many credits you currently have in your account. And so this is where you're gonna see that credit limit. If you had just subscribed to a brand new extra small account, you would get 300 credits. And you hadn't sent any text messages, it would show you 300 credit limit, zero credits used. 
if you sent out one simple text message to one local country code that was you know a plus one and it had a less than 160 characters then that would use up one credit and you would have 299 left these credits do roll over for up to 12 months so once you hit that 12 month mark you will actually have credits starting to expire if you didn't use all of your first month's worth of credits and there's a great little article here from answers.kw.com that talks about how credits in Twilio expire. So definitely check that out if you have questions, always written by our amazing KWU advocate, Paul Polanski, who does a great job with answers.kw.com. Down here at the bottom, it's gonna actually break apart your SMS versus your MMS messages. It's gonna show you how many messages you sent and then how many credits those messages actually cost you. So if you're only sending short messages, these numbers will equal out, right? To local area codes or country codes. But if you're getting more verbose and you're going over 160 characters, well, you could send one message and have it create three credits. This is where your, your uh, text replies are coming back in. Those also are going to cost you credits. And then how much your total SMS messages are um, for the breakdown of this current uh, month, both SMS and MMS. So just a great way to kind of track your Twilio usage, make sure you're using the appropriate number of credits and help you determine whether you need to downgrade your account, upgrade your account, um, etc. So that is the text and calls tab and the emails tab within your reporting applet, a great way to track how well you're doing with regards to your text and email marketing. That's it for today, guys. Day 36. Hope everyone's having a fantastic day. As always, I'll look forward to talking to you again real soon.